Hello all, welcome to our channel SOS Berlin. Here we explain the handling of our J7 product. Today's topic is how to create conditional processing workflow. Let's get start. First we have to log in to the job cockpit dashboard. Use your credential and click on the login button. The credential includes the account root and the password root. From the dashboard you can see the JS controller and agent is up and running. To create the conditional processing workflow, click on the configuration tab. From the tree action menu of the root, click on new, new folder and add a proper name to your folder. After adding a name, click on the submit button. Expand the newly created folder and click on the controller. The subfolder will expand. Click on the workflow. A new window will open at the right side of screen. Click on new workflow and add a proper name to your workflow. After giving a name to your workflow, click on the submit button. Click on the new workflow. A graphical view is open from where you can select the objects. Drag and drop the job from the left menu, add the job properties, give a name, label, select the agent from the drop down menu and write the script for the job. I am using sleep 5. With the sleep 5, it will execute for 5 seconds. Select the if object from the view, drag and drop the object in the graphical view. Drag the job in the if statement. This is the true job and execute if the if condition is true. Give a name to the job and assign an agent and script for the job. Add one more job to the if condition. The job represent for the false statement of the if. Same assign the agent and add the script for the job. I am using echo fail job. If the if condition is true, this will print. From the if condition, you can see the written code is greater than 0. If the value from the job 1 is greater than 0, then the true condition is execute, otherwise fall condition will execute. Deploy the workflow and move to the workflow view from the upper navigation. Select the folder, conditional execution and expand the workflow. From the action menu of workflow, click on the add order and add a proper name to your order ID or leave it as default. Submit. You can see the order is added and in the running state. Click on the order history to view the logs. From the logs, you can see it is printed failed as the written code for the job is equal to zero and due to this false condition is executed. Here our conditional processing workflow completed successfully. Please comment for any questions. Thank you for watching our video.